Okay, folks, well, hey, and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only some amazing art tips, how to improve your artwork, but also how to build a successful art business. Welcome to the show. tip this week is a great question that's come to me. See, I've got these questions written down. Um, a tip that's, or a question that's come to me, John, I've got a ton of projects that I'm working on at the moment. Should I share them all at once? And that comes from Kenneth, Kenneth Rogers from Arizona. Kenneth, to answer your question, the answer would be no. Um, and the, the simple reason is I see this all the time, okay, as, as a business owner, as a marketer, I see this so, so often that people have these amazing paintings, they have these amazing art pieces, and all they want to do is share with the world. I get it. We're creative minds. We want to really interact with people. We want to share what's on our mind. Yeah, and you, you share things best, I honestly believe, when you are your most passionate. But the problem with that is, if you just go ahead and share this amazing painting, and you're doing a series, and you share them all at once, then you've blown your content. What do I mean by that? This is why it's so important to learn and understand social media content. So, if I'm going to release, say, a Jack the Ripper art piece or a brand new mountainscape, I want to tell people on Facebook, for example, guys, I'm going to release this amazing, beautiful painting that I've been working on. Boom, there's one post. The second post, maybe I want to do this over a period of five posts to the point that people are literally like, right, come on, show me. Tell me what this amazing thing is. Now notice the difference. If you just post it, it's like, oh wow, that's really nice. Yeah, great, like, move on, whatever. But if I'm sharing this so people know, right, okay, so my five postings would be, guys, I've been working on this brand new painting. I'm gonna show you in the next few days. Boom, right, there's number one. Number two, it might be showing a snippet of me when I'm working on this painting. Boom, there's number three. Here's a progression picture. People are now starting to engage with you. You see where I'm going with this. Number three, Okay, maybe I'm going to share a video about it that I'm talking about a wee snippet of, of the, the video. By the way, if you guys in the world are watching this and you're not familiar with the phrase we, we means small, not the other kind of we in Scotland. Okay, just so you don't get confused. By the way, I talk my hands a lot, I do apologise. So, number three might be a video of me uh, talking about the painting. Okay, hey guys, right, this is what I've been working on so far. Here's the mountains, blah, 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 blah. Here's a quick snippet, here's a few minute tutorial. Again, engagement, engagement, engagement. Post number four, guys, are you ready? Tomorrow night at 7.30, we're gonna be releasing this painting. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna rock your socks. It's one of the best pieces I've ever done. Whatever phraseology you are gonna put out there, to get them engaging, be animated, be alive. You would be bored stupid if I was sitting here like, right guys, tomorrow night, half past seven, I'm gonna share with you a piece of artwork that I've been working on for the last 12, 150,000 hours. And I can't wait, you're gonna love it. See you tomorrow. How bored out of your brain would you be, first of all? Second of all, would you engage with it? No! But if I said, right guys, we've got this amazing piece of artwork that I'm gonna release to you tomorrow. I believe it's one of the best that I've ever, ever um, painted. And because I love you guys so much, again, put it back in the customer's eyes, put it back in the consumer's eyes and you will win every single time. Guys, I've got this amazing painting. I love your feedback and your responses so much. You're on my Facebook because I know I can trust you to give amazing feedback, amazing views, amazing opinions. You may be able to teach me how to improve my artwork, whatever. Whatever it is, again, you're putting it back on there to the point that they now feel involved and they're like, wow, yes, absolutely, I can do this. I can help you, John. I can help you make your artwork even better. And then on the fifth day, you don't just come in, bang, 7.30, there you go. One bam, thank you, man, no. About two hours before, or even four hours before, guys, just want to let you know, I finished this painting tonight in four hours. It is going to go live, and I can't wait to reveal it to you. Now, the way to do this, yeah, you can put a post or, or a photo up on Facebook, fine, great. But if this is something you've been working towards for a while, what I would encourage you to do is actually post a video. And what I want you to do is put the painting, make sure it's dry, of course, okay? Put the painting behind a sheet. 
And if you pre-record it, great. If you don't and you do this live, fine, it works either way. But guys, I want to show you this. It's something that really means something. You know, build up the suspense, guys. You know, behind this sheet is one of my most exciting paintings. I want to tell you a little bit. I want to tell you what inspired it. You've got them hot. You've got them lime sinkered. You pull down the sheet like, wow, that's amazing. That's great. Well done, John. Yeah, I want this on my wall. I want to tell people about this. I want to get people engaged with this. Now, why do we prefer video? over a photo and this is me with a cold by the way folks i'm under the weather right now uh recording this but why do we tell people to use video more than photos simple because people nowadays are engaging with videos a lot more youtube flits backwards and forwards between the number one and number two most used platforms on the internet full stop more than twitter more than instagram the only one that beats it sometimes is facebook and the reason with Facebook, because it's got longevity. YouTube is flitting backwards and forwards now all the time because, again, it's video-based. You've seen stuff on there and content that you've never seen before. Quite like Art Tips with John, quite like Art Through the Ages, The Artist Heart. The shows that we put out there and we're going to be putting out there on our brand new channel. That is why it's really important to learn how to use videos. I know not a lot of people are comfortable with videos. People prefer pictures. And you've got to go with what you're comfortable with, folks. But let me tell you something. People are always, always engaging with videos a lot more than photos. You see a photo, you click it, you like it, you move on. You see a video, you're going to stop for at least 10 seconds to see what the subject is, to see what we're talking about, like you're doing now, 6 minutes and 43 seconds in. So... Uh, to go back to the original question, no. Like me, for example, I'm working on a brand new series, as I said last week, called Art Through the Ages. I get sent back in time, I find this great portal, and I get sent back to the industrial age. Which isn't so awesome, but hey, everybody's going to start somewhere. And we pick out a series of paintings from really popular places. It's going to be a show like no other. You're going to absolutely love it. And uh, it's, it's filmed and created and directed by yours truly, with input from others as well, to make it as fun, as insightful, as historically based as possible, also with some amazing art teaching as well. And we're gonna be doing that for the Homeschool Network, but also for you wonderful fans on YouTube and on Facebook as well. So, we're looking for that engagement. We know where our audience is, we know what we're talking about. Don't release everything at once, folks. You've got some great content. Let the audience absorb it. Because guess what? If you share everything at once, you could have staggered that and potentially got 100 clients through that one post. If you share everything all at once, well, there you go. You've had an option, an opportunity. 100 clients per person or per picture now goes into maybe 25 clients for the lot, okay? depending what you're doing. I will elaborate on that next time we're together, but we're out of time now. So I hope that's really helped. As I say, really, really, if you need time, because I know I know I dashed through this quite quickly, don't share everything at once. Post videos more than photos. Videos will be more popular for you and really, really engage with your audience. Until next time, folks, this has been Art Tips with John, the painter of memories. Have a great day. Take care, God bless. As always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That's what we want you to do. Tell your friends, because you never know, it may benefit them, and it'll certainly benefit us, and I appreciate it every single time. Take care.